Hi, welcome to my vlog. In this episode, I'm gonna share my analytical reflection on the film Our Planet, Our Business. Basically, the film is a documentary portraying our environmental current condition, wherein forest declines continuously due to massive use of the land and deforestation that destroys ecosystem. Devastation of marine life due to overfishing and contamination of rivers and land due to never-ending non-biodegradable waste. All of these activities are leading towards to ecological destruction and it's a sure thing that this is a one-way ticket to human extinction. So stay tuned. I'm Ronel Sumado taking up BSBA, major in Information Management System at AMA University. Let's dive in to into the bottom of this thing. The Earth is an interconnected ecosystem, which means one fails, affect the others. When get disrupted, cycle stops, then the whole system collapses. So species can no longer receive food after the cycle stops. So, so this is how interconnected works. So it was all started when the dramatic, continuous, and roughly simultaneous surge in the growth rate across a large range of measures of human activity, which is called the Great Acceleration. Technological advances have surged under the influence of big companies in the name of business without regarding the long-term effect to our environment. No doubt that industries have been contributing major pollution in our environment, but then I just realized that businesses have other side of the coin that can help reverse the ecological destruction where the usual practices have been contributing so much damage that makes me much worried. However, I can see that there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's hope we can reverse the problem by asserting the rights of the nature, the legal rights for the ecosystem or species to exist and to have same protection as people, as human or corporation. We just need to take a drastic action to encourage the big and small enterprise to participate, to play a leading role in the innovation, recovery, restoration needed to avoid environmental collapse. Ecological collapse is uh, mostly triggered by technological advancement. It, why? Um, it's because the raw materials that the company are using to produce a product, for example, computer microchips, are made up of uh, natural resources such as copper, gold, and sand for silicon. So on top of that, a huge amount of energy to power up the machinery's equipment in processing the product is operated using natural gas. Coal and petroleum are extracted from our natural resources. So these product, this production model are resource intensive that greatly contributed to polluting the environment since they do not decompose or easily get rotten. So there is a solution for electronic or electronic waste. So there are development and adoption of a new technologies or production models that are less resource intensive and or less polluting could reduce the risk of ecological waste. The advent of biodegradable microchips could help address the global problem of a rapidly accumulating electronic waste 
some of which contains potentially toxic material. So the results also show that transparent wood uh, derived materials called nanocellular paper is an attractive alternative to plastic as a surface for flexible, flexible electronics. So the answer for that is, is the invention of biodegradable microchip out of uh, wood that can be easily decomposed. There is a technological use at home that is sustainable and no impact to environment. So using energy efficient appliances minimizes the exploitation of natural resources such as natural gas, oil, coal, and water. So energy efficient C works to enhance conservation of these resources as a way to achieve sustainable development. Energy efficient appliances can also help in controlling pollution because appliances that utilize water, oil, coal, and natural gas can lead to water, soil, and air pollution to true industrial influence and emission. So we can purchase anything that has energy star appliances i'm referring to so we can use that one as a technology at home our important mission is to look after the environment and help so that teens like you join us in this task to become an earth warrior so which is vital for our planet as you may already know human beings are closely linked together every time people harm nature they cause environmental problems these problems involve damaging changes in the environment many of which will be irreversible and will affect the health of all human beings look at this river people have thrown waste in the river has been contaminated and now nobody can drink it there are also many animals and living beings that will be die because of contamination luckily it's our hands to protect the nature and look after the environment here are the 10 best practices that can help conserve and protect environment Number one, best practices. So turn off the light and the electronic devices you are not using to save energy. Number two, replace plastic bags with reusable clothes. Bags, it takes plastic bags years to decompose and making them is a very contaminating process. Number three, separate and recycle the different types of waste. For example, organic, inorganic, containers, glass or paper, and cardboard. Number four, to avoid wasting water, make sure tops are completely turned off. Did you know that uh, we waste 10 liters of water every time we flush the toilet? Toilet is not a bin, so make use of it. Number six, have a shower instead of a bath. So a five minutes of shower uses about 10 liters of water. 
while a full bath would use up to 250 liters. Interesting, isn't it? Number seven, turn off the water tap while brushing your teeth. If you didn't shut off the faucet, you would waste an average of 20 liters every time you brushed your teeth. So keep in mind, turn off the water tap. So reuse paper. Example, remember that you can write both sides on the sheet to maximize its use. You can flip, uh, flip it over, then try to reprint it, put it back in the tray, then you can use the other side of the paper. In doing so, you minimize or maximize the use of paper and you save more, you know, uh, you, you, you save more paper as well. Number nine, it is a good habit if you pick up your litter. So pick up your litter every time you go to beach or mountains is a wise and a very good habit. So everybody follows. So in doing so, you will minimize the uh, you know uh, lit litter or the, the garbage on the area where you are all around. So, ten last habit that I can share to you is the respect and look after. So, respect and look after the animals, flowers and trees around you. So, they will stay last. In doing so, you also save the environment. Easy ways, right? So easy ways to look after the environment. So I'm sure you already know about uh, them for sure and uh, do most of them with simple actions like, you know, recycling, saving energy, water, and looking after all living things. So all living beings, we contribute to a non-sustainable uh, we call it to an unsustainable planet so do you know this word a sustainable planet or city are those that provide people with uh, a good quality of life without uh, you know risking natural resources this way future generations will enjoy wonderful planet where uh, you know like economic growth environmental care and social well-being are in balance so remember it is in your hands once to join us in our mission as an earth warrior thank you for watching stay safe and bye